Okay, so first we're looking at a part two answer. The topic is weather. Um, the candidate is going to be describing a kind of weather they like. So they're saying, what is the weather? Where do you usually experience it? What will you do in this weather? And explain why you like it. Okay, so a lot of chance for a lot of nice um, topic-specific vocabulary. Talking about weather, so we can use different words for rain, different seasonal activities, um, you know, try and be sort of creative and descriptive in the kind of weather. So you can say, rather than just saying, oh, I like hot weather or I like cold weather, and you can say, like, I love days that are hot and humid, or I like days that are crisp and cold. Okay, these kind of like phrases and descriptive words are good to hear. So let's hear what this candidate talked about. I'd like to talk about the weather I like. I prefer warm and mild one like spring. The temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius and there should be some sunlight and a soft breeze around me. When the wind blows to me, I feel really pleasant. I think the best place I can experience it is on the way work. I usually drive a car and after I get in the car, I always open my window and check the weather. That is, I think that is my routine. Then if the weather is really great, I feel pleasant. And one thing I will do in a nice weather is walking in a park. There is a huge park near my house and I will go to the park with my dog and we will walk around without any thinking. While I walking in the park, I feel relaxed and some kind of refreshing. Um, that's all I want to say about the weather. Okay, so that was a reasonably good answer. Um, sort of coherent, made sense, solid, quite fluent. So in terms of fluency, it was very good. There was very few pauses and hesitations. She kept the story moving forward and she didn't have too many self-corrections and she didn't go back and correct what she said a lot. Um, so that was fine. In terms of pronunciation, quite good. There was only sort of two real issues with pronunciation that picked me up. One was when she talked about, I think she was trying to say sunlight. Um, but it sort of came out as, it sounded almost like she was saying sunrise. Um, because she was getting the LR sound uh, confused, which is a common uh, mistake for people from Korea when they're trying to speak English. Um, and that's something that you can just drill by yourself when you're practicing. So it's sunlight. So my tongue is behind the top of my teeth. And it's coming down in a strong motion. Sunlight. Okay. If we're doing sun right. Okay. That's your sort of your tongue is going backwards in your mouth. You're doing that uh, sound. But your for the L, your tongue needs to be at the front of your mouth behind your top set of teeth. Sunlight. Okay, and then that's going to help you get the very clearest difference between la and er. Okay, so that was a word that confused me a little bit and it took me a couple of moments to realize that she was trying to say sunlight. And um, the other word I want to pick up is the way she sort of talks about walk and walking um, because it comes up with this sort of er sound that almost made me think that she was saying work and not walk. Okay, so this is another common pronunciation difficulty a lot of non-native speakers have. Um, so the work... Okay, you're sort of doing this uh sound and my lips are going forward, um, but you want to be focusing on this or uh sound. Okay, so when I do the walk, okay, my jaw is going down. Okay, my, my chin is going down, walk. Okay, my lips are coming together and I'm doing this or uh sound. Okay, so it's my, my mouth feels tense. <clears throat> Sorry, my mouth feels tense and my, my, my chin is going down and I'm making a very tight sound with my lips, walk walk, walking. Okay. So try and do that and make your jaw feel tense and your chin should be going in a downward way. Walk. Okay. That's going to help you. I was walking. Okay. And that's going to help, um, differentiate that between your work and your walk. Okay. Cause work, my lips, are, my, my mouth is pulling from left to right Wo work. Okay. And walk, everything's going forward. Okay. So those are two words I wanted to, um, pull her up on. 
a little bit. Um, in terms of vocabulary, I sort of liked, um, she talked about sort of warm and mild weather, which I thought was a nice way of describing describing the weather. Um, you can go into more detail, more adjectives. Um, you know, I love a day that feels like a warm hug. <laughs> Be descriptive, um, you know, in how you're talking about it, because that's how you're going to get your vocabulary points up. Um, so you could describe something as a, a classic British summer day is something we often say in the UK. Classic British summer day. Okay, and that would be a nice phrase to use. I liked how she talked about 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, I thought that was that was nice and that's specific to the topic of weather. Um, the only thing I wanted to say was slightly incorrect is when she talked about it, she said, I feel pleasant. When she rolls down the windows of her car and she feels the sunshine, she says, I feel pleasant. We would never talk about pleasant as something you feel. You don't feel pleasant. You know, something is pleasant or something is unpleasant and you can feel something is pleasant, but I don't myself feel pleasant. So I feel, um, and I feel it's a pleasant uh, feeling or I feel it's a pleasant feeling or I feel it's a pleasant experience. Okay, if I just said, I put rolled down my windows and I feel pleasant. No, I will roll down my windows and it's a pleasant feeling or it's a pleasant day. Something like that. Okay, so that was slightly incorrect. Um, the other thing, uh, her grammar was was reasonably good. Um, it's in terms of when I say reasonably good, I mean it's like in that sort of solid five point five range in terms of it's basically correct, um, but we're still at that kind of like basic pre intermediate level. Um, so in order to improve, I want her to show more variety in her grammar, which she might do in the next uh, question. Um, more hypotheticals, more conditionals, more different tenses. Um, you know, you recently these days I have been driving to work every day and that means I can experience the weather or over the past few weeks, the weather has been changing to the weather I enjoy the most. Okay. So this is how you can use some different tenses in your answer. Um, the only real sort of mistake that I picked up on is that she talks about, um, she checks the weather on the way work when she needed to say on the way to work. Um, yeah, but everything else was pretty good. So let's hear what she's done for the second question. So the, the question is, does the weather have much impact on your life, which is kind of an interesting question. And would you prefer to go to a hot place or a cold place for a holiday? So again, this is a good chance for you to use more high level vocabulary and sort of do this kind of level up. So let's see what she says. The weather doesn't influence on my life at all because... I don't work outside. I always work inside the building. And also, I like all kinds of weather. I think each weather has different charm. For example, if it is rainy, I like the sound of raindrop hitting on the window. And if it is sunny, I like the sunlight while I walking on the street. Um, if it is snowy, I like watching the snow falling from the sky, then the world change into something white, fury things, I think. But I prefer go to a hot place for my holiday because I like wearing shorts and uh, short sleeves and I like eating ice cream on a hot day and also I like going to the beach and I can swim and I can relax on the beach and I can do many things on a hot day but I think in a cold place there is limited things I can do. So I prefer to go to a hot place on a holiday. Okay, so that was, again, a nice answer. In terms of fluency, um, it was very sort of natural. She kept the story moving, uh, not much pausing, not much hesitation, once or twice, but sort of minor hesitations and fluency. She answered the question. She kept her answer focused, so it, well, I like that. In terms of pronunciation, again, we had the same issue with the working, walking, uh, where she said that um, when she's, she likes the sunshine when she's walking. And I thought she was going to say working in my building, 
but she said walking down the street. So I had to go back and say, oh, she, you know, changed previously or she meant to say walking. Um, so again, the same issue as we had last time. So that's something I would definitely tell her she needs to just be careful of. In terms of vocabulary, um, I thought she used some nice vocabulary. I liked how she used the word charms. Each weather has different charms. Um, I thought was good. Um, I also liked her description of the sound of raindrops hitting the window pane in why she likes uh, rainy days, I thought was very nice and very specific vocabulary in terms of raindrops. Um, the only thing where she sort of missed a couple of chances to sort of use more high level vocabulary is that she used the phrase, she said, um, in a cold place, there is limited things I can do, which could have been changed into, um, there are more limited options. For activities in a cold place okay so that would have been a, a sort of slightly better um this is very sort of basic and then this would have been a slightly more high level answer she could have put in um in terms of grammar again reasonably consistent but again kind of um basic okay she did try to use a couple of conditionals and if um sentences but not enough and so everything kind of stayed in the either past simple or present simple um, and the only thing she kind of missed was a sort of third person plural where she talked about walking in the snow and she said the world um, change into needs the S, changes into. Okay, so that need, was need, needed for her grammar score. Um, so uh, in terms of pronunciation, again, we had a couple of issues with those words, so I would sort of put her in that sort of 5.5 .5 range. Uh, in terms of vocabulary, again, I thought it was reasonably good. So in that sort of 5.5 .5 grammatical range, accuracy was good. Range was less good, okay? So that's why she's sort of in this sort of 5.5 .5 zone. In terms of fluency and coherence, I thought she was quite good in at 6.0. So again, coming out at a solid 5.5, .5, um, but I think that's kind of, I'm being kind of strict on her. Um, I would definitely advise her the pronunciation she can definitely work on. Um, uh, her vocabulary wasn't too bad, but I would definitely talk about her to improve her grammatical range, especially in terms of tenses and try and expand the number of tenses that she's using um, and try and use a couple more difficult tenses.